Leather is one of the oldest naturally derived materials man has used to craft tools and goods. We have evidence of Stone Age leather working tools, proving humans employed the hide of animals and livestock in order to fashion all sorts of products, from tools to shelter to clothing and more, many thousands of years ago. Similar to metallurgy, our modern processes for harvesting, processing, and actually putting leather to use are well-worn, tried, and true. So today, we wanted to officially round up what we consider to be a selection of preeminent leather goods, our favorite leather EDC essentials that we here at High consumption hold in high esteem. Much like any other category of EDC, there's a bit of a learning curve, well perhaps better put terminology that's helpful to know when discussing leather and leather working. So when applicable, we'll do our best to walk you through any ambiguous or confusing terms to aid you with your own leather essential search. Alright, let's get to it. Kicking us off is the 151 Stealth Backpack from London-based luxury leather goods supplier Grams 28. Grams 28, the name itself, is an equation that speaks to the through line of the business. Founded in 2019 by Benjamin Chan, Grams 28 speaks to the film by director Alejandro Gonzalez Inuritu, 21 Grams, and by adding one soul to every product the British based brand thoroughly handcrafts, we have Grams 28. The exciting part about Grams 28 for us here at High Consumption is twofold. First, most obviously, just by looking at the backpack, the craftsmanship is on another level. With leather sourced from Italy, sourcing is held to stringent standards, only tanneries certified under the exacting guidelines of the Leather Working Group, as well as the Italian Vegetable Tanned Leather Consortium, as well as USDA standards of leather production. With every bag comes a distinct numerical embossed detail, a series of numerical codes that speak to the product, the material, and the tannery. In this case, 151 is the stealth backpack, 0902 is Italian pebble bovine leather, and 039 stands for the Mastrotto tannery in Italy. Second, it's the fusion of elegance and refinement with industrial utilitarianism. Case in point, the use of this aluminum, cobra-like quick-release buckle on the front, they're used typically reserved for far more utilitarian gear or carry, something we see often from Mission Workshop, for example. We also receive a topmost pocket and laptop sleeve combo protected by a water resistant track. The 151 Stealth Backpack is a 21 liter bag, measuring 17.7 inches in height, 11.4 inches in width, and 6.69 inches in depth. Let's take a peek at the interior, starting with that water resistant zip pocket at the top of the backpack. Inside is a smooth tan textile lining for a stash pocket and a laptop sleeve that hugs the back, accommodating computers 16 inches or less. On the side of the bag, just under this grab handle, there's one small quick access zip for often used small EDC, say a wallet or a keychain. The front houses the standout branded metal buckle, revealing a pouch and a zip pocket. Now the main compartment lives under this protective flap, unzipping enough in a U-shaped manner to access a real estate that houses two zip pockets on the front interior, a backmost zip pocket, and a lattice of soft, felt-like modular dividers that you can customize to house camera equipment or other frequently used carry. Say a water bottle could fit here quite easily, as could a larger photographic lens a camera body, a few EDC organization pouches, a notebook, or any other similarly sized gear. The luxury meets hyper-engineered approach of Grams 28, which is often not the case with luxury leather goods, is a breath of fresh air. You often have to sacrifice looks for utility, but Grams 28 has maintained a unique position in the market, truly offering both here. While the 151 Stealth Backpack is a standout everyday essential in their catalog, the London-based brand also offers slings, briefcases, folios, organizers, and accessories with the same pen for optimization and elegance, so we would highly recommend heading to their site next. You may have heard the term strap monster before in reference to a watch. Simply put, it's an everyday wear piece that can look great with virtually any strap combination. In our book, one of those watches, perhaps the strap monster, is the classic Omega Speedmaster, the Speedy. It just looks great, classy or rugged or elegant or utilitarian, pretty much any adjective that you could conjure with anything that you pick. Perhaps the most versatile option apart from its traditional metal bracelet is the version that ships with a black leather strap. This 42mm space age icon is just a classic, housing Omega's coaxial master chronometer caliber 30 in a polished 316L stainless steel case, a beautiful dome sapphire crystal above a tri-compax layout, a small seconds, a 30 minute, and a 12 hour counter, and this modern edition builds in an absolutely stunning exhibition window for a front row view of the movement which offers a convenient 50 hours of power reserve. The black half leather strap is just the icing on the cake, Omega manufacturing a really solid option by default, coming with a branded push button fold over clasp. However, as we said, the Speedmaster would look equally handsome with a leather strap of a different texture, a different color, or even a one-piece leather NATO. Go ahead and name us a better suited strap monster. We're waiting. Our next leather essential is a two-parter that we think looks so damn good paired together. 
This would be the Giant Mouse GMF1 fixed blade, which comes with a handcrafted Italian made leather sheath, great by itself, but pair it with Oak City Leather Supplies leather scales fashioned for the GMF1, and the compact fixed blade takes on a whole new appearance. Oak City Leather Supply expands the functionality of the fixed blade twice over. The scales certainly help with grip. The GMF1 is only 5.4 inches long, only 2.8 inches reserved for the handle. Plus, you get a choice of stainless or brass hardware securing the handles together to the handle itself, and it gives the whole ensemble a really rugged look we absolutely love. The newest version of the sheath foregoes the old locking lanyard for magnetic retention, which is a nifty and certainly welcome addition, making deployment off the hip a breeze and secure when not intended for use. You you can also use the sheath in the horizontal axes or the vertical axes on a belt. You also get to customize both the inner and the outer leather, just like the color of the leather scales, each of the parts available in over 10 colors of Pueblo leather. This is just an excellent pair to even further improve an already amazing little fixed blade. There is perhaps a no more classic piece of leather everyday carry than a leather wallet. There are so many options out there many of which are skillfully crafted and are high on our list of favorites. One of our favorites from a classic heritage supplier is the Filson Leather Card Case in Black Horween Chrome XL Leather. It's minimal, it's rugged, and it's straightforward with four card slots and absolutely nothing extraneous. It's also fully made in the USA, just a straight up added bonus. Chrome XL does indeed sound a bit confusing. What is it exactly? Well, it's actually a process that's been in leather working for more than a century, but in layman's, it's an alternative chemical process to tan leather using chrome salts or chromium, rather than vegetable tanning, which we'll also define in just a bit. There are both pros and cons to Chrome XL. It is a process that's now cheaper and much quicker than vegetable tanning. The pros, depending on how you perceive them, could be that the process doesn't allow for much patina as natural vegetable tanning would. So your wallet would look as if it just came out of the box far longer. It's also more water resistant and stain resistant as well. Either way, the Filson Leather Card Case is a simple no fuss heritage take on the classic card holder that we happen to love. If you would like other suggestions for vegetable tanned leather wallets. We've made a whole video guide about this in the past, so head there next by using the search function on our homepage. And speaking of other wallet options, Tanner Goods makes one hell of a card holder. But we're going to instead talk about another one of their leather goods, the Tanner Goods Key Lanyard. Hailing from the Pacific Northwest, Tanner Goods have been in the leather game since 2006, building premium leather goods from quality leather with premium craftsmanship. Simple pieces that you can really rely on. Their key lanyard is a notable example of the build quality that you can expect throughout their catalog. Simple, functional, tons of heritage to the look and feel. It comes with stainless hardware, either black coated or raw, to keep your key securely attached to a single piece of vegetable tanned Meridian English bridal leather, secured together with double cap steel rivets, 5.5 inches long from tip to tip, and fully made in the USA by hand. You can also use the key lanyard in both orientations. You can clip the actual hardware, the metal hardware, to a belt loop, or use the loop, the leather loop, the lanyard, through a belt and use the hardware and for keys. The former will necessitate a split ring if you do decide to use it in that orientation. Leather is so versatile that it can be fashioned into just about anything. And it has, even holding or organizing your everyday carry itself. Kill Spencer out of Los Angeles makes one of our favorite leather valet trays. In other words, a catch-all to leave by your nightstand or on an entryway table as a home for your phone, your keys, your wallet, knife, pen, or sunglasses. Their leather valet tray is available in either a small or medium size. We'd go ahead and recommend the medium for a solid all-arounder with dimensions at 14 inches in length by 9 inches in width by 3 quarters of an inch in height. This black finish also comes in two different leather types, and with it two different textures. Ours is the smoother bowhide leather, but a slightly more classy, perhaps more sophisticated option is the pebble textured black leather. Honestly, either version is fantastic. Now, the tray uses leather for the insert. It's a base that you can gently wipe down from time to time when it collects dust. And it's virtually impossible to tell from the photographs, but these color matched black edges are actually part of a steel base plate skeleton, which the leather tray sits inside. So just to be clear, this isn't a fully leather tray. The steel base plate does give the tray some heft, 2.5 pounds to be exact, a weight that does help it keep it firmly planted on a flat surface, even with the occasional bump. Another of our favorite premium high-use EDC essentials to integrate leather are the Bang & Olufsen Bioplay HX over-ear headphones. Premium lambskin leather graces the top panel of the headband and envelops a set of plush memory foam ear cushions. Now, lambskin leather is, like it sounds, that derives from sheep instead of cows and it maintains softer properties than traditional leather, which makes it a great material for, say, the ear pads of headphones, while still providing the necessary level of abrasion resistance for daily wear. 
These headphones are priced quite similarly to Apple's AirPod Max. The Bioplay HX headphones are a great non-Apple alternative that offer high marks across comfort, active noise cancellation, and well, just blatant good looks in our opinion. This combination of lambskin leather and metallic minimalism speak to a design language that is playful in terms of shape and style, yet to us refined and well suited for even the most white collar environment. These headphones pack in custom 40mm drivers for some of the best quality sound from over the years that we've heard to date, and this is only further aided by a revamped ANC system or active noise cancellation that seems to do an excellent job of cutting background noise. Only the icing on the cake here, but the headphones come in a few different colorways that range from all black to all white, and they maintain an IP53 rating as well, offering a touch of dust and moisture protection. Total listening time measures up at 35 hours with active Bluetooth and active noise cancellation engaged, and that does seem to be about correct, and up to 40 hours of Bluetooth alone if ANC is turned completely off, and replenishing the internal battery system will take about two hours, which in our opinion is fairly accurate as well. Leather and sunglasses usually don't exist in the same sentence, except if you're talking about a leather carry case perhaps, but outdoor-focused eyewear Jewelbo offers the Vermont Classic mountaineering sunglasses with leather sunshades. These sunglasses are palpably nostalgic plucked from history, like shades worn by explorers and mountaineers in the 20th century and beyond, as are the flexible looped temple ends and the distinct round lenses. All making sense considering the Vermont classics are a part of Jewelbo's dedicated heritage series. These leather side shields aren't only held on with rivets near the mineral glass lenses, but also with a loop around the metal frame itself, adding just a bit of extra security. The exterior is also notably smoother, the grain much more evident on the backside. The Vermont Classics are considered a medium size, with a width of 138mm, a lens height of 51 and a bridge of 23mm, and a temple length of 172 On our wearer, who usually wears a small to medium size frame, the size feels slightly large but by no means oversized. Our next leather essential is a simple leather AirTag keychain. Nomad makes some killer leather Apple accessories, and you may know them from an AirPods case. Excellent product as well. Thermoform leather, a heat-based molding process, gives this leather AirTag case a bit more structure than your typical pouch style. It also allows the AirTag to fit inside nice and snug, but it also gives the exterior a distinct and attractive rounded square look. Nomad's logo type also debossed into the exterior face. The leather used here is Horween, referring to the tannery by that name, an American company based in Chicago since 1905. They've been around quite a while, and their leather has a reputation in the space for being of the highest quality. It looks great, and it's highly durable, and this particular finish just looks and feels tangibly premium to the touch. Great minimalist highbrow addition to a keychain, connecting with PVD coated metal hardware. Hard to beat. Leather and baseball are largely one and the same. Baseballs are leather, well, on the outside, always have been, either horsehide or cowhide, but America's pastime and leather go hand in hand. Shinola has celebrated this unofficial union with their take on the yard ball, a typically lighter than a baseball, well, baseball, you can casually throw around without the need for a glove in your backyard, or one to even toss up at your desk during those hardcore brainstorming sessions. This essential, and yeah, for this one we are saying it with some air quotes, is really just a cool item to keep on a desk, sure, but it does speak to Shinola's larger leather goods catalog and their use of American-made labor to do so, either at their HQ in Detroit or, in the case of the Yard Ball, by craftsmen and women at Leatherhead Sports in Glen Rock, New Jersey. So go check them out, give them some love, tons of great leather goods in addition to a really standout watch catalog. Big lighters, you know the colorful cheap ones that you can pick up at the corner store checkout line, are, well, disposable, but their utility isn't by any means worthless, as ugly as they are. And they're much cheaper and, let's face it, more convenient than a refillable flint wheel zippo. If you do want to just level up the look or to match your other leather EDC just a touch more, Craft & Lore makes one of our favorite Bic lighter sleeves. The Craft & Lore Bic lighter sleeve is a one-piece, four-ounce cut of premium American tan leather cut and sewn by hand in northern Idaho. This is most certainly vegetable tan leather as well, you can certainly see a patina develop quite quickly with frequent use. The removable leather lace lanyard also gives the piece some heritage charm, but it's also something you could tie around a belt loop or even onto a keychain. Craft & Lore, like most of our other topics in this roundup, maintains a much larger catalog of leather goods like watch straps, wallets, camera accessories, belts, and more, so we would highly advise heading over there if you like the look of this lighter sleeve. Supporting a small, independent American operation is always an added bonus. 
Our last leather essential offers a ton of utility, as it should, as a utility pouch. There are a ton of leather tool sleeves, but Silver Fox Tools Mule Pouch Organizer is a cut above the rest with a proprietary mule rivet system that allows you to customize the size of the slip pockets to your intended EDC. Check it out. So the mule pouch comes with brass mule rivets, M-U-L-E rivets. They are essentially well-machined, well-engineered brass hex screws. The lattice of 5x4 punches on the front face allow you to install these rivets and essentially make dividers for your intended carry. Your carry changes? Absolutely no problem. You just shift the rivets. Normally, your run-of-the-mill leather utility sleeve or wallet or pouch or organizer uses stitching. Obviously, that's not modular and you have to get lucky or at the very least guess as to whether or not your EDC is going to fit snug. It's also not too large or bulky. It's a great addition to a backpack or a sling at 3.6 inches in width and 5.3 inches in height. Also comfortable enough to sit in the palm of your hand or small enough to fit in a utility pant pocket. Silver Fox Tools also integrates this mule rivet system across wallets, a notebook cover, and an organizer book, which is essentially the folding version of this mule pouch. Dave Saunders and crew have crafted a small catalog of really well-engineered leather carry, as well as a few really rad pieces of brass EDC. So as we've said a few other times now, go check them out and show them some love. Leather working is a whole world in itself, just like watches, knives, and other carry, but perhaps one of the most democratic materials to work with, which is why it's so appealing for independent craftsmen. So there are a lot of suppliers of leather essentials out there. Hopefully, our guide can at the very least kickstart your search, and again, definitely check out the larger catalogs of each of our top picks, as they do most certainly offer more than one great product. So drop us a line below with your favorite leather carry, and as always, head over to highconsumption.com for even more great coverage on leather essentials and more, and we'll catch you next week.